say happy Friday. I hope everybody's doing good. Let's see. Hi. <laughs> I see I'm looking at all the chat. First, I have to say, Delia, I hope your finger is okay. I'm so sorry. I just saw that her, she got bit by a needle. So I hope, hope, hope that you are okay. Hi, Carol and Brenda and Khan. Thank you so much, ladies, for helping to moderate, moder, moderate, yeah, <laughs> tonight's um, sip and stitch. I really appreciate you, ladies. So thank you so much. And hi to everybody that's already joined us tonight. Yay, Lynn's first sip and stitch. Woo! <laughs> I'm excited you're here. Hi, Stacy and Linda and Danielle and hey Marissa so I hope everybody's doing good let's see hey Monica hey Terry so <laughs> how are y'all doing tonight so just to start off hi let me do a quick introduction my name is Carly Bell and I love to do um, machine embroidery tutorials. I blog over at my website is carlybell.com. And here on my YouTube channel, I like to give tutorials. And then we have something special, which is tonight we call Sip and Stitch, which I'm trying to do every other Friday night where we do a live tutorial from start to finish to show you an entire project how to you know get designs ready how to put them on your machine how to stitch them out and how to clean it up when you're done so everything so i'm excited to be back with y'all tonight um we did do sip and stitch last week so it's fun to be back again it's, it's hard for me to to skip them but i have to tell myself i have other things i need to do carly <laughs> but um I'm excited to be back tonight. I am going to be out of town next Friday, so that's why we're having a special one tonight. Kind of get back on track of being every other week after that. So, hi Nancy and Yvette. Okay, so um, I'm super excited about tonight's project. I'm going to get, um, get to in a minute, uh, but it's going to be a lot of fun. First, I want to tell you that the project tonight is with a design that is for free. And I have the link for it down in the description box below. So a little backstory for those of y'all who don't know or, or weren't familiar with it. So we've been doing Sip and Stitch now since last summer, I think. Was it early last summer or even last spring uh, of 2020? Um, we started doing it in the Facebook group. And then it got moved to YouTube um, last August, um, August of 2020. And it, we just kind of nicknamed it Sip and Stitch because we were doing it at the end of the week, you know, after a long week. And, um, and we would do the project. So that was the name of it. And then this past Christmas, for Christmas Eve, I did a live, um, I, I was interviewed on a live like internet TV show for Sewing Machines Plus and Blaine Austin, the CEO of Sewing Machines Plus, asked if our little group had a, like, do we have a name? Do we call ourselves something? So kind of like um, Angela Wolf, one of the brother um, educators, her group calls themselves the Wolf Pack. So he's like, what is, what is your group call themselves? So we asked in the Facebook group and I think Carol had the really cool idea of the sip and stitch squad. So um, as a fun little way of making something for, for us, I designed this embroidery um, design using um, Stitch Artist and Brilliant Stitch Artist, which is a program I really like. So uh, that's where this came from. And this design is available for free and I think Carol already posted the link and it's down in the description box below but all you have to do is click it put your name and email and it will automatically email you the embroidery file um, I only have it in one size it's about two inches tall and maybe two and a half inches wide I think um, but it's going to come in every format so no matter what kind of machine you have you can use it and then I made two of them one of them and I'm gonna play with another time, but I went ahead and made it 
is an applique design. So it's the same exact design, except the first stitch is gonna be a pl um, placement stitch. And then the second is a tack down. So if you wanted the inside of your hoop, of the, 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 hoop, the stitched hoop <laughs> to be a fabric, uh, a, piece, a different piece of fabric, or I'm thinking we can make a patch. So there's an applique option as well. But that is the design for tonight's project. And it tonight we are doing it obviously on a hat and we're gonna do it back here on my brother persona using the cap driver. So this is something new, something different. That's really cool about a free arm machine is that you can stitch a hat using the cap driver and you can stitch any kind of hat. So this is a non-structured hat. You can see it's flimsy. You could smush it around. But there are also other kind of baseball hats that are called structured hats and they're very stiff. And typically they're more guy like hats. I wanted to actually go buy one for tonight, but I never got around to it. <laughs> um, but the cap driver can stitch structured hats as well. Um, and they're a lot easier to just load. You'll be, you really be, I was so intimidated by this whole process of using the cap driver on this machine. Um, it, you're going to be surprised really how easy it is. Like once you go through it, you're like, I was scared of that. Like it was, it was easy. So uh, we're going to go through the whole process tonight. So I'm going to show you how to do it. But I just wanted to talk to my peoples that don't have a free arm machine. You can put this design on anything. And I have a previous sip and stitch. Um, I should have put it in the link. Um, I'll try to remember to put it in the description box after. I put it in the, the newsletter. Um, if you're not already on my email newsletter, I try to send out an email once a week just kind of telling you what's going on uh, with projects or um, I have ideas of other things for the future. But you can get on my email newsletter um, in a link down below. But I have a previous sip and stitch where, let me get it. Probably even still has a hat. Yeah. I tend to make, nope, where it is. I tend to make things and they just kind of pile up in that corner right there. This is a hat we made on the PE 800, and that is used. Um, that is done with this nifty device that our very own Miss Carol um, makes. It's called the Brim Board. And this fits inside your 5x7 hoop. And so you can use it on lots of different flatbed machines. And when you go to her website, she's going to link it. Um, you just pick which kind of model machine you have. So like I have the PE770. So that's the same as the PE800. And then she has um, hoops for the bigger NQ1600 Innovis machines. And she has some for other machines. So just make sure it matches Oops, the model that you have. So if you don't have a free arm machine, but you still want to make yourself a hat, there's an option for you. Um, I'm also, I think I'm going to make myself a shirt with one. And Khan has already requested. We're going to make Khan lots of things because Khan doesn't have an embroidery machine yet. We need to get this girl one. So I'm going to make her all the sip and stitch squad gear that she wants. Excuse me one second. <laughs> I dropped this. Okay. So, um, yes, brim board brought to you by Carol. <laughs> so, um, but so that's how you can use it. If you don't have a free arm machine, you can put it on a hat like that. But tonight we're going to go over the persona. So, Let's see. Um, all right, let me look and see. Do we have any questions? Here's the previous one. Okay, yeah. So yeah, I have a blog post um, with the doing a hat on the smaller flatbed machine and it has the YouTube um, video already linked on it along with the, all the supplies. So, okay, well let's get started. So, I also want to tell you about my little special thing. So, the machine we're using tonight, I love. I bought it last summer from Sewing Machines Plus, and I am now an affiliate for Sewing Machines Plus. And I, um, I have a special offer for, and I have a nice group of ladies that have already um, bought their persona through me, and we have a nice group going. And I know they're excited about tonight's project, but um, 
this is the Brother Persona PRS 100. And my special offer is that if you purchase the machine through me in my affiliate link, I have a coupon code to save you $500 off the machine. And I will give you free virtual training on how to set it up and use it. And I have an exclusive Facebook group for all of my persona owners. And this also applies, we have a few people that got the Baby Lock Alliance. That is the same exact machine as this. So, um, and I did talk to Mr. Blaine Austin on the phone, was it yesterday or day before? And he told me they do have the persona and they have the Alliance in stock right now. So if this is something you're interested in, please message me on Facebook or send me an email at hello at carlybell.com and I would be more than happy to help you, tell you all about the machine. You know, I can help you um, figure out how to, if you need to finance it, I can tell you how to apply for financing. They have 0% financing available if you, um, what do you call it, qualify for it. So that's my special offer. Just wanted to tell you about it in case this is a machine that you're possibly interested in in the future. They have been hard to come by because they've been on back order. So if it is something you've been thinking about for a while, they're in stock right now if you want to get one. Okay. So also, let me show you my big mess of a craft table I have going on. <laughs> I put this in the newsletter too. Um, this is a new embroidery machine I'm testing out and I have no other place to put it now. So it's taken up my whole craft table. But uh, this is the Burnett B79. And I am going to do a video on it and let you know um, how to set it up and what I think about it as soon as I have time to play with it some more. But it's taking up my whole table right now. And I need to move this out of the way. Okay. So. Uh, tonight. Let's see if I can do this good. Okay. So we're doing a hat. Um, this was the last white hat I had, so this is another hat I have. So we're going to do the same design on this hat, but maybe we'll do some different colors. So maybe y'all can help me pick the colors that will look good on this one because it's a little bit more uh, warmer colors. Carly, I need a bigger crap room. Yes! I'm trying to convince <laughs> my daughters. The way our house is set up is it has three bedrooms and then like a bonus room. My girls are sharing a bedroom and it is the biggest room upstairs. I'm currently in the smallest room. Um, and the girls, they're, they're tiny, they're little and they, they want to be in the same room together. So, but I'm trying to convince Abby. I'm like, mom needs a bigger craft room. So how about you and Lise, um, Y'all could come each take the other rooms and have your own bedroom and let mommy have the big room for the craft room. <laughs> And in true girl fashion, Abigail does not want to do that because her room has a nice walk-in closet. And she's like, but I like my closet. <laughs> she's not even a teenager yet, and she knows how important it is to have a nice walk-in closet. <laughs> so, um, we'll see if I can convince her of that later. Uh, but, yes, I do need a bigger craft room. <laughs> so, this is the persona we're going to do this hat. I don't know how good of some angles I'm going to get because I really need to back up to show y'all things. Um, but let me show you. Right now we have what's called the flat frame on the machine. This is usually what I slide. My derky. Here we go. My derky um, easy frames on this way. And I usually float a shirt or a bag or whatever. I forget what I stitched right here. But um. I float things um, on here with that. So what we're going to have to do is take this piece off and we will attach this piece. So when you buy the Brother Cap Driver system, so this is going to be a separate purchase. It's, this is something that unless they have a special deal going on, it's not going to come with your machine. So you'd have to get the machine and this is an extra accessory. And it comes with three pieces. This is the driver. It's a little scary looking, but it's not bad. Then, uh, let's see. This 
is called the cap ring. This is what you're actually going to, this would be more, this would be, this is the hoop for the cap. Um, this is what's going to hold the cap together. So this part is going to get replaced on the machine and stay on the machine. The cap ring is going to go on the hat and stay on the hat. Then the last piece is kind of like an assistant to help you hoop and that's going to stay in its spot and right now my spot is when you get the stand the stand comes with this metal piece and then this piece was in the box with the cap driver and that gets mounted on there and it stays there it doesn't move so this is going to help me put the hat on the cap ring so those are the three pieces that come with the cap driver set now because my machine is in a corner and I, I'm squished up here I actually have to turn my stand um, so that I can access my piece that helps me hoop the hat but first I'm going to show you how to take the flat frame off and install the cap driver so let's see now so when you have the flat frame, there are three thumb screws. And I'm sorry if I'm doing a bad camera job, but they have this big one, this little one, and this little one. So we are going to unscrew them. And it might only even need to be those two. I don't know if this one needs to be. Uh, but these two need to get unscrewed. And I don't know if I could do this one-handed. I think I need to take this one off completely. I'm gonna take it off and put it right here. Um, yeah, I can't do it one-handed, sorry. <laughs> okay. And then this just comes right off. So the only problem with, you wanna make sure you don't lose, when you're taking this off, you wanna make sure you don't lose these thumb screws. So just be very mindful. I'm gonna screw this one back down so it stays this one actually doesn't have any, what do you call them, treads, threads. So it, it won't, I can't screw it, make it stay there. So I'm just going to leave it here, make sure it's there. And I'm gonna put this down here on my stand and it be in its spot. Now, you have the cap driver. So when you are looking at it, this is how it's gonna go on your machine like this. But before you put it on the machine, we need to undo these two thumb screws. They are gonna get removed and they're actually gonna get moved here. Is it this one? No, this one and this one. That's where it's gonna get moved to. So they're gonna get taken out. We can't even slide it on with them, them right there. It, it gets in the way. It won't even let you slide it on because there's not enough room here. So we're gonna take them off, slide it on, and then we're gonna reattach those same thumb screws, but in these two holes, okay? And when you unscrew these, this, this is kind of like on a cable system, if you could see that, and it goes around and then back here, and that allows this piece to rotate. With these two screws in, this is not able to rotate, but as soon as we take these screws out, you're gonna feel, if you're just holding it,